Yes. <laughs> yes. I see Ginzo Rhinos in the chat. I'm going to defeat Mr. The Ginzo Rhino is here. Get ready. Excited? Are you snoring? It's the wives. Got the chat going. What's going on, guys? How you doing? On a Saturday night, we are the MMA Holes. We're here on a special Fight Buddies. UFC. What number are we on? 98, right? I think it is 98. Yeah, UFC 98. I only put in the title. I just don't know. We have some viewers. We have some friends. We have the chat going. Hello. Thank you for joining us. It's good to see you. It's always good to see your faces. And uh, we're sitting uh, together now. We're not in different rooms. We have the um, we have straight, the pillow in between us. Pillow. Yeah, the straight pillow keeps us in between us because if we take the pillow away, we turn gay. Yes. <laughs> we start making out. It's all creepy. That's it. So how's it going? How's it going, John? How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Dude, did you see I put in the chat? So every time I ask you how you're doing, you go wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> so, Everything's twice. Yeah. So I put in the last uh, one. I go, hey, how you doing, John? Wonderful, wonderful. That that's gonna be your term. We're gonna make the T-shirt, Johnny L's. Wonderful, wonderful. I am. I am <laughs> What's going on? This is two nights in a row that we decided to do our fight buddies. Two nights. We had Bellator, the crappiest live uh, fighting event ever. We did that, and now it's time for UFC 198. We've been waiting for this. Ferguson, Dos Anjos, men. No pants, scotch, and red cups, bricks, diapers, John. And uh, Phil Jackson gave us five rounds of Total Snow Fest to win the belt last night. Phil Jackson. Phil mm -hmm. Davis. Phil Davis. <laughs> and Phil Davis, too. <laughs> like Phil Jackson versus Phil Davis, who would win that fight? Definitely Phil Jackson. Yeah, Phil Jackson. He's bigger. He's a big boy. All right, so let's load up this chat over here because I, like I like to talk to you guys. I like to see what's going on. The rhinos here. And uh, and that's that's that. Okay, we're pulling it up. A nice, raw, lovely, sexy live show. So how's everyone's Saturday nights going? I hope it's good. I hope it's fun. Can you hear us right? Can you see us right? Do you need any diapers? It's right there. We're preparing for the uh, the, the the prelim main event. So I see as, as soon we had 109 subscribers. As soon as we started the broadcast, we have immediately 108. We're just, we're just killing it right now. Thank you. <laughs> They're falling off. Our subscribers are falling off, but that's fine because we don't care. We do not care. We're here to watch uh, UFC right now. That's what we're here for, and that's what we're doing. So, John, how's it going? Wonderful. How you been? Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I had that second one. Though. Four. I love it. That's, that's what, what we're doing. doing. I love it. Oh, so I got John, my phone how's it going? going? One How you been? Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> that was us talking to you guys again. We talked to you guys twice. All right, here we go. Look at the chat. Hello, Mr. True Boy. Hello, Jesus Christ. Hello, Glenn Allen, Jane Doe, Ginzo, <laughs> Ginzo Reno. I like to call Ginzo Rhino. Mike Daly, Mexicans here. Whoop. 
And that's how that's going. All right. Hell's yeah, fight buddies. Phil Davis, Mr. Blanket, says Randy Morgan. What would you think about that, Randy Morgan? Phil Davis, five rounds of keeping McGarry nice and warm, right? Nice and toasty and nice, nice and warm. So right now we have the prelims on right behind you. If you look over yourselves, if you turn around, the fight's over there. We can't broadcast the fight, but we can tell you what we think of the fight, and we're going to tell you how that fight goes, and we're going to give you our predictions. I see The Shits by Randy Morgan. The Shits. That's right. Randy Morgan says The Shits. Uh, Connor, what do you think about The Shits? Uh, do you like The Shits? Yes, sir! Okay, Connor likes The Shits. Okay, good, good. Connor McGregor's here. Connor McGregor's here all the time. We have Ellen DeGeneres. She's here as well. What, what, what? She's here. What, 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 and um, Randy Morgan, Jane Doe, Mr. True Voice here. Everyone's here in our chat, and uh, we are excited about this. Who do you guys think is going to win these fights? There's uh, a ton of fights going on, and uh, we're going to go through the card right now for you because that's what we do. We, uh, we, we, we do it all. We do everything. What, 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 Presenting to everybody. Hey, that's us. Okay, let's go to the UFC. You've seen us enough. Here it is. Look at this, guys. Check it out. EA Sports. It's in the game. And we scroll down, and there it is. The ears. The Frankenstein versus someone said the Dracula. That's a good assessment. So now we have our picks, and our lovely ladies made the picks as well. This is the fight that's going on right now. We didn't make predictions on this because we don't make predictions on prelims. It's a waste of our time, but we watch them. This is what we're going to be watching. Here we go. The main card over here. Who do you guys have in this? We have six, as a Mexican would say, Mufugan fights. Six of them. And we have picks for each and every one of these fights. Who do you have? I'm going with Dos Anjos for the, the main card. What about you? Uh, I, I have a pick on that main card, and it's – I'm not going to say. I said it the last show. If you didn't see it, too bad. I'm going to say it right before that fight happens because I need to tease you a little bit. There has to be a tease. I have to tease. I'm like a, a male rooster. I'm like a rooster tease. <laughs> see? That's our laugh track. Christine's our laugh track. Connor, did you like that one? What did you think of that joke? All right, Connor liked the joke. That's good. As long as Connor liked Connor, did you really like the joke? Yes, sir. All right, good. How about you, Alan? No, what, what, what? Okay, fine. All right, so we got a lot of things to talk about. We have a lot of time to kill, and we have a lot of conversation to have with you guys. The MMA Holes. If you're new to the show, we do a weekly show every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time. We, uh, we broadcast live from New York. We never wear pants. We usually have cages up, but today we have the bricks. What do you think of our bricks? John, I brought my bricks from my home to your home. Now we now we all have bricks. Oh, it's very, it's very decorative. I like it. It's it's, it's wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I forgot to tell you about that. The bricks not wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I'm wonderful. I'm telling you, wonderful, wonderful. It's W N D U F U L twice. Do it twice. We're gonna make the T-shirts. Wonderful, wonderful. First time you spell something right. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, John. Right? Hey, what do you think, Maria? <laughs> do you guys like that? I think that's a good slogan, actually. I'm jealous. I don't have Christine a cool slogan. Christine a good point. The pictures on the, the t-shirt could be diapers. <laughs> Johnny diapers. Oh, breaking out of the diapers. Johnny <laughs> diapers. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderfully breaking out of the diapers. <laughs> oh, crap. All right. I lost the chat. Now we pull the chat up. That's what we do. So thank you all for subscribing. The, sus the subscribers that are there, we thank you very, very much. Um, it means a lot to us. I actually cry myself to sleep because I'm so happy that we broke the 100 barrier. We had a celebration. This is a celebratory show. 100 subscribers. It makes the hair on the back of my neck down to my ass crap. <laughs> and straight, straight to his legs. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's how that goes. All right, here we got 13 watching strong, 14 watching strong. Welcome to the MMA holes. How you doing? Let's check out the chat. Mr. Trueboy loves this channel, and we... Love Mr. True Boy. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ is throwing the link into the chat. Jesus Christ, you're the man. Now, let me tell you a quick story. If you weren't here last night, 
I was streaming it. Right now, we're actually watching it legit. John pays for cable because John's smart. I don't pay for cable. <laughs> I'm a cheap, uh, I'm a cheap fook. I don't pay for cable, but John does, and we have a nice crystal clear picture behind you. We have a beautiful stream. If you guys need to stream, Jesus Christ just hooked you guys up with a link. So there you go. Last night, the MMA holes bailed me out. Round four: Phil Davis, McGarry, title fight, and uh, my stream conked out. MMA holes came and saved the day. We all got to watch the fight together. Randy Morgan says, Who the fuck is that guy? That's what Randy Morgan says. Okay, uh, Raven Robinson, Phil hands, Phil's hands looked a little better, but he still sucks. Phil wasn't as boring as he was in, Bell in uh, UFC, but still it's the same old Phil Davis, correct? I mean, boring as shit. And yeah. they, they're going to build around a guy like that? They got to get some better stars in that thing. That Michael Chandler kid is the only one I really like. Like, yeah, like I said yesterday too, like you see the quality. UFC is so much higher than than Bellator. Phil Davis um, was a good fighter in UFC. He never could get over the hump, but you know you see him in Bellator, and he's just he's just win win win. Uh, Ginzo says Perez. I have no idea what that means. All right. I, I think they're picking the fight. Oh, you're picking the fight now. Okay. Oh, you got Perez in this one? We didn't, we didn't I mean, pick, we didn't that's, that's definitely not Ginzo, by the way. I, I promise. It's not Ginzo. We didn't that, pick, Ginzo's we didn't pick, not over there. We didn't pick this fight. Yeah, we didn't pick this fight. We didn't. But Ginzo says Perez is going to win this fight, okay? Mario Yamasaki got this. What does he do? He has a thing. Mario Yamasaki, he does that weird gesture before the fight starts. Like this? Yeah, he goes like, he gives you a word. <laughs> I forgot, but he does something. Is okay. That, is it the one that goes like this? Yeah, he does that. He does that too. Okay. Jay Protege. I saw you from last night. What's popping, y'all? What's up, pop, my friend? How you doing? Okay. Jane Doe says, Good job, JC, on the link. See, Jane Doe is giving, giving you props. Now, Ginzo says, F Connor. Well, you know what I say about Ginzo? Who the fuck is that guy? I mean, come on, Ginzo. Really? Really? What are you doing? Raymond Robinson, the love, my man. How you doing, Raymond Robinson? What's going on? Welcome to the MMA holes, where the chat keeps flowing, the Ginzos keep talking, and the Scotch keeps staying in the red cup. You could said flowing. Man. Well, I was gonna say flowing, but that would have rhymed. We don't. We don't rhyme. We don't like to rhyme. <laughs> Who would wants to rhyme? So here we go. We got nice sixteen viewers going on here. We're going strong. We're trying to break records. Last night was a roller coaster. I just decided, hey, let's go on for fun, and you guys are killing it. You were in the chat. It was going, it was going silly. I see Jay Prodigy puts another stream in there. Keep the streams coming, because, fellow, it's J, J Prodi J A. J A. It's playing off of Prodigy, yes. But this is Prodi J. Read the Ginzo. Ginzo, read the translator. Read the damn thing. Read the chat. All right, Ginzo. <laughs> so we have some we have some clowns that don't want to come on the show, but they're they're here. Trust me, they're here, and they're laughing. <laughs> yes. Okay. So what time we got here? We got nine forty-six. The main card starts. They're cackling over minutes. there. When ten o'clock rolls around, we're gonna start with our picks and we're gonna get it rolling. Mr. True Boy says, best channel on YouTube. It's YouTube. Blah, I can't even talk. That's great. I like that. She's dying. The Ginzo's dying. And right now, Perez is, is on top. Uh, is on top. Ginzo, you might have this. Perez is on top. Who do you think has this fight? Let me know. We're in Mexico right now. For Mexican, we're here in Mexico watching the fights with you guys live. So that is that. Okay, Johnny. We have to do it. We have to discuss. Uh, what would you like to discuss? <laughs> talk about Oliveira first, blowing weight by ten pounds. Yes, Oliveira versus Lamas. Oliveira yeah. gets on his. Oliveira. 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 He gets Thank on the scale. Saying. He gets on that scale. Scale didn't work too well. What did he say? Ten pounds. Nine pounds overweight. Start. Nine pounds. But it's technically ten because they were going from one forty six, which are allowed up to. But the freaking guy is fighting at 145, and he blew it by 10 pounds. That's messed up. I mean, I could understand a pound or two. You just can't get those couple of pounds mm -hmm. off. 
but nine pounds. Nine pounds. Plus, he get lost thirty percent of his purse. Thirty percent of his purse. So, so what do you guys think about that? Let us know in the chat. He blew the 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 weightage. I'm just looking over here because Perez is about to get choked. He's about out. to lose. Actually, you know, he's fighting this off. I think he's biting him. So, what do you guys think about this? Okay. Usually it's twenty percent of the purse. Now it's thirty percent of his purse because he blew it by nine pounds. They still take the fight. I mean, Lamas, you got to feel for the guy because look what happened with BJ Penn. That thing fell through for him. I think he got paid. I think I think he got reimbursed for that. Though, I think right? he did. Yeah. So Lamas got reimbursed for that, but still, you know, you're training, you go through camp, you're cutting weight. That that kind of sucks. And uh, now it happens again, and he still takes the fight. He's he's getting a nice little chunk of change for it, yeah. but um. What do you think? Do you think that's a sufficient fine, like 30% of the purse? Do you think they should fight? Do you think they shouldn't fight? Do you think Oliveira, you know, like that's just an effed up move, you know? Well, they were saying that it could be a big problem for Oliveira because with the high altitude there and coming in out of shape, he may not last too long. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a douchey move, man. That's a real douchey move. Just make the weight, man. You don't have many jobs. Your job is to fight and be at a certain weight. If you cannot make that weight, don't fight in that division. I mean, that's it's just that, that simple. Jesus Christ says, no more bingo, bingo nights, Chris. Only MMA holes nights. Did you hear that? She, she's on the shitter. Sorry. She just, Beat it, JC. She, my wife just <laughs> took a steamy shit. <laughs> steamy. Keep that door closed. We don't want to smell. We don't want the MMA holes to smell this. All right. How's that stream going? You guys see us nice and crystal clear over here. We have the bricks up. We have the diapers are representing. We have everything going right we now. Don't want the ghost to come back. We don't want the ghost to come back. Okay, so Mr. True Boy says make the weight or move up. True that. Right? Mr. True Boy, true, true, true. Make the weight or move up. You see too many fighters try to do this. You see uh well, like Johnny Hendricks, you see uh Gaston do it. You see just so many guys, guys have been messed in the your way cowboy. Yeah. Um, not the cowboy you're thinking, the other cowboy. Yeah. But uh, so we flew to Mexico. He's, a, he's an Oliveira too, which is even fun. Yep. Oliveras do not like to make weight. There you go. You heard it here. Oliveras. Um, Connor, how's it going? I know you're here. Are you excited about a UFC 205? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you're excited about UFC 205. Do you think that these guys should fight um, if they don't make weight? Yes, sir. Okay, you do think they should fight if they don't make weight. Okay. What about you, Alan? Do you think they should fight if they don't make weight? Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, that's Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There she is. There she is. Okay, so uh, so guys, if you are new to the MMA holes, I like to say this: we are live every Wednesday night. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at the MMA holes. We can even put it on the screen for you guys. Look at this. This is the production so high class. I mean, not only do we have diapers and bricks in the background, but we have this. Think there it is. And look, look at that. Look at that. There's a belt. We're the champs. It's the champs. Point. There it is. The, the belt is here. And that's it. At the MMA Holes, remember to check out our other channels. When we're not on YouTube, we're on there. And we like to talk to you guys and say hello and say stupid things and, and see your beautiful faces. Fight week is next week. Excited. The weigh-ins is Friday. The press conference is Thursday. And then there's a meet and greet on Wednesday. I'm going to try to – I'm definitely making the weigh-ins. There goes Ginzo again. She's out of control. <laughs> I'm going to make the weigh-ins. We have extra tickets for the weigh-ins. We threw it out there. I think there are six left. I think there's six extra tickets left. Um, if you guys are in the New York area and you have interest in going to weigh-ins, it's going to be first come, first serve. We're going to throw it out, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You meet up with us. You're there. You're the, one of the first ones over there. MMA Holes gets to go to the fight. I mean, the uh, I wish the fight. The weigh-ins. And that's how that works. You guys excited? 205. UFC 205. For shizzle, my nizzle. That's right. So that is that. We sit, we relax. It is 9.52. I, th I think the guy in the yellow is nipples bleeding. Who do you guys have in this fight? It's a little creepy. Bloody nipple? Yeah, bloody nipple. It's in that guy's mouth. He actually bids his nipple. <sighs> I like these fight buddies because it's more relaxing. You just hang out. You know? Yeah, you can walk away and not care. I think take, I did it on the regular feed anyway. Yeah, we could take you could take uh you could take little breaks, go to the bathroom, hang out, eat a pizza, um, hang out with a ginzo. And you know. Be the ginzo. It's it's nice. 
So how are you guys doing on your Saturday night? Are you uh, pumped up about this whole fight card? Does the whole fight card excite, excite you? Is there two fights, three fights, only one fight that excites you? Or are you just here to hang out with the holes? That's what we want to know. Okay, let's see. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'll write down the odds. Oh, hell, here we go. Bet for the fight nights. Oh, here, look at this. In the chat, in the live chat, look at Jesus Christ. He's putting the odds in there. Check it out. If you are gambling people, men, women, children, midgets, whatever you are, go into the chat and check it out. Look at it. Look at Jesus Christ with the with the with the stats. J Pro J says Grasso versus Page versus Waterson in a pool of, <laughs> in a pool of pudding. I, I would sign. I up agree. For that. I would sign up for that. Yeah, we're both spoken for, so we would never watch that. Well, I would actually watch it. <laughs> we would never watch that. Uh, Connor, what do you think? Would you uh, would you watch that? Yes, sir. Huh? Grasso's face looks like it got kicked in. Uh, yeah, that would be that would be interesting. No, the other one's worse though. It looks like a pretty sign. <laughs> and a pool of pudding. <laughs> a pool of pudding. I like that. Go holes, go Ginzo. <laughs> Mr. True, what are you guys drinking on? So. I'm sipping on the finest of scotch. It's what, 70 years? 73. 73 years old. Scotch in a solo cup. Who needs glasses? Right? Solo cup of scotch. We have the world's smallest computer screen, so I have to move a lot of things around to see what I'm doing. I gave him a cup so we would just look, he wouldn't be drinking out of the bottle. That's right. I was literally going to just put a nipple on that bottle or an IV bag. Maybe that. Mm -hmm. Sloppy nipples? Ah, maybe, maybe. So Jesus Christ. Hanging in there, throwing in the odds. That's pretty cool. I like that. This is the Dos Anjos one here. Ferguson. Go holes. Okay. What are you guys drinking? We told you. Okay. Uh, Bet365 source. Cool. Uh, what's good, MMA holes? Back again. Oh, I am what so damn black is here. Woo! Now, Johnny didn't get to meet I am so damn black. That's probably one of my favorite names in the chats. Johnny, say hello. I am so damn black is here. What's going on? Uh... And it's a Sunday afternoon over here. You are hardcore, my friend. What, no football? No, look where he's from. The NZ. New Zealand? Yeah. Nice. Check that Good out. to see you. How about that? Dude, it's, it's nice to see you again. Thank That's you for joining awesome. us. Did you just fart? Oh, she's, she's snoring. I think that was a snore fart that just happened over there. <coughs> yeah, it was a snore fart. That was a snore fart, right? I'm no, pretty I sure. Fart. That was a snore fart. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. That was a total was snore fart. Nose. The fight hasn't even started. It's five minutes of the fight, and we got a snore for it right off the bat. <laughs> Hello, 20 viewers. How are you today? We are the MMA Holes on a Fight Buddies. UFC 98. We will have our picks in four minutes. You could see our picks. What's going on? Salute to all you holes. Mexican is back in the chat. Now, we're in Mexico. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's fitting that Mexican uh, would be here, right? Do, do you have your uh, you have forty virgins? Yeah. <laughs> forty virgins. I hope uh, you, I hope you're uh, surrounded by women dripping with love. From where? From their uh, hearts. From their hearts. So we got some viewers here. So let me explain to you what's going on right now. I brought all my bricks from my place. All these bricks over here. I brought them over from my place. To John's place, we still have the diapers over here hanging out because you never know when you're going to shit your oh. pants. Okay, here we go. So we're just watching the last fight of the prelims right here. We're really not watching. We're just BSing because we're getting ready for the main card. There's six fights in the main card. Did you guys see the smiling Sam Alvey fight? Let us know. Two nut kicks. Oh, this fight might finish. It's only got five seconds left in the fight. Oh, he wants to tap. Oh, he's holding on. He knew the, he knew the clock was almost done. Woo! Ooh. Holy cow. How about that, huh? Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, Mr. True. Told Johnny, I said, what's up? Did not see him last night. See him, Mr. True Boy? He's here. We figured since you didn't see him last night, we're going to bring him in person tonight. Yeah, last night was uh, a long night. He dusted me off. Yeah, last night... Uh, he had uh, a lot of sex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Sex and potty training. 
Sex and potty training. That's that's it. Pretty much goes hand in hand, right? Yeah. Sex and potty training. Okay. Randy Morgan goes. Oh shit! Exclamation! Million exclamation points. Okay. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ says, "Chow Mexican, why aren't you in the stadium watching this live?" Okay. Hunnam says, "Isn't that what that says?" I think. Yeah. I think it says, "What's up?" What's going on, Hunnam? Mexican baby Jesus, because I'm. <laughs> A baby Jesus. <laughs> because I'm currently in Southern California, my second home. Nice. Okay, uh, Randy Morgan says, you guys are 10 seconds behind my stream. Yeah, it's, it's probably right. YouTube has a leg. We're watching on, like, regular cable, but, yeah, between Fios and, and the YouTube yeah, stream right now, little, uh... we might be a little bit behind you guys, so don't spoil it 10 seconds ahead of us. Okay, Mexican baby Jesus, I'm not from Mexico City. I'm from... Guadalajara. Guadalajara. It would have took me a second to, pat, <laughs> to pronounce that. It says Guadalajara, oh, so Jalisco, Mexico, right? Jalisco? Is that how you say that? Jalisco? Jalisco. Probably Jalisco. Probably Jalisco, right? Is it Jalisco? You say Jalisco, I say Jalisco. There you go. Well, uh, at least at least Mexicans here from uh, rooting for his, his native people. Yes, sir! And Conor McGregor agrees. All right, guys. So here we are. Guadalajara, I know. I bet this team main soccer. Game. What's that? Perez, yeah, Maria, you're right. Well, wow, he got a nod on his face, huh? He, he was, was close. Ugly. He was close to tapping too, man. Imagine. All right, so now we're gonna start paying attention to these fights, kids, kids, adults, ladies. Look at that ear. They, that the ear is banged out. That's major cauliflower flower right there. That's so, the whole side of his face looks mutilated. It's a very healthy ear. So we're here on a Saturday night. You guys ready? 10 o'clock is about to roll up on us. We have a UFC Fight Night 98. The MMA Holes Fight Buddies. Wait, this is the second night in a row we're doing this. There's a lot of MMA going on here. There's a lot of mwah. 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 That's MMA. That's how you pronounce MMA. Mwah. That's how you do it. The bricks are ready, the diapers are ready, and we are ready to show you what is in store for tonight. So here we go, guys. Presenting to, hold on, everybody, UFC Fight Night 98, Ferguson versus Dos Anjos. Six, I say it, six fights on this card. What do you guys think? Is it a good card? Is it a bad card for a free card? I don't hate this card. It's mm. not that bad. We're going to start off with the first fight. Now, guys, I'm going to let you guys know, me and John made our picks, and the lovely ladies next to us, one is drooling all over herself, sleeping, and the other one's probably about on her way out, but they made their picks too. There's four of us in this room. We all made our picks, okay? So what I'm going to do now is talk about this Alexa Grasso versus Heather Joe Clark, the Hurricane. We made our picks, and I'm going to give you what we think is going to happen here. Okay, so we got Alexa Grasso in our home country, Mexico, 8-0-0. 50% KO, TKO, 0% submission. So you look on the other side, see 40, 43% uh, – Scotch. Scotch. <laughs> 43% submissions. KO, TKO, 29%. A little balanced out. Record 7 finding out. 5 and 0 from USA. She's the hurricane. And I can't stand this girl's face. Yeah. She, she looks like in Popeye, the goons. You know, you ever watch Popeye? Hold on. Let's look for it. Popeye, the goons. Let's see. The goons. Guys, you're going to thank me after this. It was actually the second thing. When you said Wait, hold on. Where are the goons? Where the fuck are. Oh, goon. Goons. Is it Popeye? Hold it on. came up. And you oh, here it is. Popeye goons. Okay, kids, you ready for this one? Did I, I think it, wait, hold on. Yeah, you see it, all right? There it is. There it is. Yeah, it looks a little Right? Weird. Okay, we're going to go here. Take a look at this, okay? You see Why that? Why does it have olive oil's clothes on? Well, it's, it's the goon. And look at this. Look at to the right, okay? Look at Heather Joe Clark. You guys got that? Bink. Guys. Bink. 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 And the other girl looks like a pretty cat Ganzano. Yeah. Zangano. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you my pick right away. I am not picking the goon. I am picking Alexa Grasso. Undefeated in Mexico, 
Yes, Grasso, you got my vote. I'm going to go down the list. Here we go. Johnny right Ells has Grasso. Christine has Grasso. Mar we all have Grasso. So there we go. None of us picked the goon. The goons. What did you guys pick? Let me know. We want to know. I want to know. John wants to know. The diapers want to know. Everybody wants to know. Who did you guys pick in this fight? Okay, that was exciting. Are you guys excited? Are you excited? The I'm excited about the goon. The goon. Zeph Sai says goon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why the fuck does John have four doors? <laughs> you don't, you don't want to know. <laughs> Guess what's behind those doors? <laughs> uh, the goon laugh and laugh out loud. Okay, Mr. True Boy. Dan the Man, 10. Oh, is Dan the Man here? And what's up? Uh, Mexican says, baby Jesus, I'm a metal. What's that? I'm a metalhead, man. Okay, Jane Doe. Shh. It's where he keeps the dead hookers. Yes. Is that where you keep the dead hookers? Yeah. Where else are you going to put them? Which closet, though? All four. All four of them. That's a lot of hookers. Stockpiling hookers. <laughs> that is a lot of damn hookers. Thank you for the <laughs> thumbs ups. The thumbs ups is what makes us happy. We have a lot of people watching right now. We like that. Okay. Jay, Protege says, Grasso takes it. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's a Grasso. Does anyone take the goon in that fight? I don't know. I, I, I hate the goon. I'm not, I'm not a, like, I hate is a strong word. I just have a hard time looking at the goon. Presents? I mean, eh. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Frankenstein? What do you guys think? I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, ho I hope the goon comes out in that, that <laughs> outfit, too. Mm hmm. What's on the goon's forearms? What is that? It's hair. It's like a. <laughs> what the one guy's name is that? What is on the goon's forearms? I don't know. Here's look, low love. Here's a closer picture. Oh, that's further away. I think that's the best thing you're gonna see. Here we go. Goon, Heather Joe Clark. Anyone have the goon? Let us know. We want to know. But that's our picks. All across the board, we're all against the goon. We're not picking the goon. If you guys are picking the goon, let us know. Uh, but not us. We're not picking the goon. And that's how that works. All right. All right. We're going to bring it back to the chats. Grasso takes it. Randy Morgan. Wasn't Heather a cunt and tough? That's what I'm talking about. Seems like yes. I rem rem I'm saying, I think you remember that. And we love the C-bomb, just so you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she was, for sure. She was definitely... She was so freaking annoying on that show, and that's another reason why I went on my little goon tear. I, I, I completely dislike her. And she's got that face, and she's, she's the complete package of asshole. All right, Dan the Man, what's up, Mr. True Boy? So Dan the Man's here. Dan, miss you. I missed you yesterday. I missed you. That's fine. You've been on, like, every other show, so we don't, we don't get Un upset. Unacceptable. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to tell Chris Weidman to take back that happy birthday. That's it. And I'm glad they lost the Cleveland Indians. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes. Isn't that a kick in the nuts? <laughs> That's right. Cleveland Indians. Who the fuck is that guy? Right. All right. <laughs> so here we go. Let's Don't worry, Dan. You still got the Browns. Okay. Ready to talk some fights. Mr. True Boy, we're ready. He has a Squidward nose. <laughs> oh, I said he, but you might as well say he. She has a Squidward nose. Okay, Jesus Christ. Max... I can corpse is old stuff hardcore. I remember in 90. Wait, oh, Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. F'd with a knife. Right, Johnny? Fucked with a knife. I remember 95, my brother friend. Yep. We, we know what you're talking about on that one, guys. Dan the Man. Salute. See, the people love Dan the Man. All right. So Dan is in the house. Jay Pro J. Heather Joe Clark. Who the f. <laughs> Heather Joe Clark. John, are you ready? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> That's right. Who the fuck is that guy? All right, what's up, Mexican True Boy? Okay, yep, cannibalized corp is cool. I personally, what about a little Guar? I personally uh, was always more, Guar was on Howard Stern not too long ago. Really? Not Howard Stern, he was on the wrap-up show. Oh. And that's the next best, best thing, but he was on their channel. Well, was on the okay, we're talking a little bit of uh, this. She's got that face. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> right? 
Sorry I didn't make it. I was still sulking the Indians loss. Okay, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Listen, when the Mets lost, I wasn't happy last year. So I totally understand. And actually, your loss is way worse than our loss. So I don't think we could really – No, not comparable. We can't compare to that. Actually, his was, his was way worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty bad. But you got the Cleveland Indians it's and Stipe. Like they, it's not like they tied the game. You got the Cleveland Indians and Stipe Miocic, for God's sakes. I mean the Cavaliers. I mean Cleveland. Oh, you yeah, Cleveland Cavaliers. Whoops. <laughs> what? 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 All right. <laughs> Pantera fan since 92. Rest in peace. Dimebag Daryl. Uh, the man, Jane Doe, is excited that Dan's here. Okay, damn, but they had 108 years in trophy. Okay, mercy, uh, Israel. It's okay. Like John said, at, was at least, at least, we still have <laughs> the 0-7 Browns. Browns. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Ray, the axe murder alone. I seen this on my feed, feed and was here yesterday. That's Ray, the axe murder alone. In your honor, Ray, I have a red cup. With a little bit of a drinky drink in here, I'm going to take a sip in honor of the axe murderer. You don't mess with the axe murderer. He has an axe and he murders. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Spillage. Ah, that cowboy for, from Hell album. <laughs> oh, sorry. I hope we don't get flagged for that because that was dead on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be too concerned. Oliveira missed weight. Yes, we did talk about it. Nine fucking pounds, like you said. Yes. We said it earlier before. Jay, what do you think with that one? Do you think that 30% of his purse is worth, like, is that the uh, correct? Like, what do you think? 30%? Is that for accurate? That, for that much weight, I'll tell you, I, I agree. Yeah, 30%. Usually, usually you lose like 20 if you're like four or five pounds over. So you lose it by almost 10 pounds. I mean, is Lamas a boss by taking that fight? Sure. Right? I would, I, I give him credit. The guy's going to be weighing probably 30 pounds heavier than him by the time the fight starts. Yeah, look at this. They actually do look, we're watching the weigh in right now, and he does look a lot bigger. Wow. Poor Lamas could get beat up. All right. Dan Man says, Jane Doe, what's up? Mexican Jane Doe, you are my MMA ho bay. Congrats. There you go, Jane Doe. Tough Indian loss. Sorry. Oh, Jane Doe gives a smiley mush face. Hell yes, let's drink and talk fights. Nothing better but pussy. That says Mr. True Boy. Jane Doe, thanks. About the nothing better but pussy? I don't know. Mr. True Boy, you have some. Oh, God. You know, Jane Doe could be a guy. Let's be honest. That's true. You never know with this chat room. Oh, the goon's about to start. Look at that face. I think the goon's coming on. The goon's fighting. Her, her nose is totally crooked. Grasso versus the goon. Strawweights. We have something to talk about, about the 145 women's weight class. After this fight, we will talk about that. This fight's not starting anytime soon. Okay. Okay, Mr. Trueboy, you have some left out beer on your beard? That's from 01 Samato. What's going on, 01? How you doing? I don't, I don't recall you being on here before, but thank you for watching us. Uh, 30%. Fuck yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ says, is the high altitude so much factor? Yes, it is. Yeah, we've seen Kane uh, lose his belt like that. Yep. John brings up Kane Velasquez. That's a very good point. Kane Velasquez was effed up in that fight after. Uh, and that guy was known for his cardio. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, it didn't work out rough. too well for him. <laughs> Christine, you're correct. <laughs> she's rough. <laughs> Jane Doe says, true, I could be hung like a horse. I have a baby penis. <laughs> or have a baby penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Mexican, you ready for that? But only baby Kane dead. seemed to struggle. And why? He is Mexican. Jesus Christ makes a good point. Yeah, that was a no, that was a big thing during his fight. How could you? He, he knows the altitude problem. Yeah, but he's a Cali boy, right? He lives in California. Mm -hmm. And actually, he got called out for being like a phony Mexican by Verdum, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. He got called out by uh, Verdum for being a phony Mexican. <laughs> a phony Mexican. And look how that worked out. A request. They want the ghost. Okay, Mexican says, MMA holes got more bricks than that, Meek Mill. The diapers are back. Dan the man, do you see those? So when everything was getting set up, we erected these bricks but made sure that the diapers were still <laughs> seen. We won the ring. I mm -hmm. had to be here. I never got a chance to be here with the diapers, and now I feel kind of honored. See? I'm going to go give the diapers a hug. 
he's really just on his way to get the scotch. Don't let him fool you. He don't care what the diaper is. What diaper is. And I would like to see the ghost also. I'm hoping it makes an appearance at some point in the night. Okay. Gave it a hug. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to do this. Had a tough day today, guys. Uh, this morning, I know you don't care, but I'm going to tell you anyway. This morning, we took pictures. And uh, people may not think, oh, what's, that's in a way. Had to deal with three young children that weren't cooperating. Then I had a lovely couple. Oh, who cares? <laughs> and that's Chris's day in a nutshell. <laughs> but now he's got the scotch, which I'm going to have to go upstairs and get another bottle, I guess, because uh, that one's done. And now he's, now he's dry humping the diapers. I think I'm just going to stay here for the rest of the show. He's, Chris is now fondling the diapers. It's a little, it's a little weird. It's a little creepy. All right. So Chris, we got to bring up the uh, the McGregor announcement. We can, but while the ladies are fighting, let's talk about ladies. Okay. Let's talk about the ladies. Ah. Talk about the one forty five. Let's talk about that. Agreed. So did you guys hear about that? Did you guys know about that? We're gonna tell you what that is. Misha Tate said that she does not think. That there should be a 145 pound weight class in the UFC. No weight class for Cyborg. What do you guys think? I talked about this a little bit yesterday. I have a hard opinion on this. I have a hard, rock hard, hard opinion on this. But we didn't get to get John's point of view. So let's hear John's point of view on it. Take it away, John. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ghost, it's is ghost Grimace is here. <laughs> ghost Grimace. <laughs> Ghost Grimace. The ghost makes an appearance from time to time. We have a haunted, we have a haunted show. <laughs> Give them what they want. Oh, uh, John, John. <laughs> he says you look hungry. He's very quiet. Feed him more. <laughs> he's not. He's not quiet. He's he's excited. I'm excited. Okay, so the ghost. I don't know what just happened. We started talking about 145 pound weight class, and then all of a sudden the ghost showed up. The ghost showed up and threw out Happy Meals. And that's that. Okay, so let's get back to that. Misha Tate says, no more 145 pound weight class. The ghost is gone. Actually, we can see the ghost. No. There, oh, there you you're are. In, you're oh. in the camera. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, she's back. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, the fight's about to start, John. Do you want to give you, you want to give a little teaser? Okay, you're going to find out about John's opinion about the 145 weight class just after this fight because the goon is about to fight. 23 versus 36 years old. The, wow, goon. the goon's 180 years old. 36. Holy crap. I didn't get to check the rest of the tail of the tape. That's fine. Well, we all picked Grasso across the board. Who did you guys pick? We want to know. We love to know. Wow. She's 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 got some serious uh, issues. She's not looking okay. to uh, hope Grasso wipes the floor. <laughs> Uh-oh. I am so damn drunk the stream is not working again. Oh, that's not good. I hope I hope you guys see us. Okay, and I hope you get that problem straightened out. All right, Dan the Man says, I had a tough day, guys. With the... And then it says, yeah, the pouring another cup of scotch and rubbing the diaper bags didn't throw it off or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dan the Man, she's tripling. Wait, she's tri oh, tripling, tripping. She's tripping. Holy crap. I'm already seeing L's instead of I's. She's tripping, says Samato. Zeph side, LOL, didn't give it away. Wow, this, this girl's a huge favorite. <laughs> Second show with the ghost. Could you believe that? We are definitely haunted. Mm -hmm. Okay, Glenn Allen. Woo, there's the ghost. Ardrema, what's up, my man? Cyborg should take on McGregor for a 145-pound belt. Guys, hold that thought. Who do you guys have? The fight's about to start, and we're going to talk you guys through it. But before that happens, we're going to do this. Oh, my God, the fight's starting. Well, there we are. And the goon is about to fight. Grasso, you guys ready? Here it goes. They're in the middle of the cage, and I guarantee this is going to be a three-rounder. Here we go, guys. <laughs> okay, Clark in blue, Grasso in black. Grasso's a lot younger. She's from her homeland, Mexico. Now, remember with Clark, the goon, uh, she does hit pretty hard. That's one thing she does do in The Ultimate Fighter. She's got that big schnoz. She likes to get a, her – she always looks disgusting after her fights. And, and she has the, uh, the body of a 10-year-old boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I concur. We got 427, 26, 25 in the first round. Grasso is looking what looks like to be a takedown. She has 
I'm sorry, Clark is looking for a takedown. Grasso is against the fence, backs against the fence. One hook is underneath Grasso's arm while the goon pushes her against the monster energy drink corner. Oh, Grasso spins her around. It's like, no, fuck that. They're back, trotting around in the middle of the cage. Guys, are you watching? I'm so excited. I'm on the edge. You might see it. I have my scotch. We have the diapers. We have John. Who's wonderful? Wonderful. 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 <laughs> you know I'm going to get that sound oh, bite, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. I love that. It's the best. All right, they're in the middle of the cage. Here we go, 347 in the first round. Who do you guys got, Grasso or the Goon? Let us know. We'd love to know. Okay, 337, 336. I said three rounds. It will be three rounds. Trust me on this one. Goon hits hard. Oh, Grasso, nice kick. But, yeah, Goon is already nose bleeding. What's hanging out? I think Snot's hanging out of yeah, Goon's, actually, Goon's nose. Yeah, I think it is Snot. Oh, the Snot coming out of the oh. Goon's nose. Did you see the booger? Yeah. Did you guys see the booger? That thing was on the booger. <laughs> Did you guys see the booger? The booger. There's a booger. <laughs> Russell's not going to punch that face that's not hanging out. Oh, it's, it's on a lip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it what to, is that? It rolled to a lip. Russell wants no oh. Oh! <laughs> No, is there something stuck in her nose? What is that? It's a giant booger. It's got to be. It's got the tone. It's that the can't color. be. It's stuck there. It, it's a it's a stick one. It's a sticky one. But what is that? There's something hanging from the goon's face. Do you guys know what's hanging? That was gross. Let me <laughs> eat your snot, bitch. <laughs> I take the goon's split decision. I hope she just gets a get the. Oh, oh I'd be uh, so mad if I got that on my glove. <laughs> just go punch her in the face and it gets on the glove. Oh, that'd be horrible. Big ass pussy fucking hose. <laughs> Grasso, not hot enough. Mexican says, never bet against the Mexican. Oh, Grasso's on top. I never bet against it. Hold on. I want to see this fight. Woo! Grasso is oh, – she's oh. hitting the zone. Punch the snot right off. Goon's in trouble. Goon's going down. Oh, Whoa, Goon strikes back. 208. 20. Holy cow. You guys watching this fight. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Grasso's teeing off on the Goon. I think Grasso hurt her. She knocked the snot off. I think she hurt her eye. Wow, man. This is a really good fight. 156. In the first round, the snot's gone, guys. Don't worry. The goon snot is gone. It, yeah, it's probably in the other girl's it's somewhere. I think it's in the first <laughs> row. <laughs> it's on Bruce Buffer's tie. <laughs> It'll rip that tie off quick. <laughs> Who's the goon? Sorry, Archrema. We'll show you right now. Hold on. As this fight's going on, we keep on saying the goon. We'll show you the goon. You want to know, we'll show you. The fight's going on right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's us. Okay. <laughs> Here's the fight card. Oh, whoops, that's, nice that's elbow, still us. Oh. Here we go. Uh, look at Heather Clark. Check out Heather Clark. She's fighting right now. You got a good look at Heather Clark? Good. Okay. Now look at the goon. There's the goon. Okay. You see the goon. You look at the goon. The goon had snot. That's Heather Clark. Heather Clark is the goon. There it is, guys. Okay, that was a quick tutorial. She on busted the up her nose. Pretty good. Yeah, the goon always looks beat up in her fights. Win or lose, the goon's face is always up. Oh, whole face is coming blood. <laughs> Who's the goon? I love that. <laughs> oh, I think a head's jacked up too. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, she's bloody. I love this. Oh, the goon. The goon. She's bloody and snotty. Who the fuck is that guy? It's the goon. It's the goon. It's the goon. It's the goon. Calm down, Connor. All right. Okay, get her on top of me, Jing. <laughs> Jing Lee. What's going on? Jing does his clock. Who footin' now, yeah? Who Ooh, the fuck is that guy? She took a hard fucking oh, right. Yo, Grasso is oh, the throw, huh? I tell you what, though. That was a nice play by the goon. As, yeah. <laughs> as, as Grasso was swinging the gloon. The gloon. The, the goon. goon. That's snot. Ah, oh, the goon's snot. Oh, it's definitely somewhere. It's probably, gonna on, make, probably on somebody's foot. Right yeah. I think the cut guy used put the goon, the, the snot in the, ra the Vaseline. The yeah. little snot in the Vaseline. All right, round one round is over. One. Holy smokes, that was a freaking fireworks of a round. Hey, do you guys want to see some stats? Because not only do you talk about snot and goons, we also talk about the stats. Because we are here live. We are the freaking MMA. Old, man, I'm drinking. There it is. Okay, here we go. Boom, life stats. Well, they're men. They just turn into men. <laughs> well, Heather looks a little like a Wait, man. where's the goon? All right. Oh, shit. They don't keep stats on it all. What the, the hell? What happened? Live stats went down. Live stats? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Guys, I just said how terrible Bellator is and website. how good yeah, the website. UFC uh, website that is. 
And the UFC website, look at this. They don't have the stats for the fight. That's all right. It doesn't matter. So far, who do you guys have? Grasso or the goon in first round? I'm saying 10-9 Grasso. What do you say, John? Same. I, I mean, she pretty much beat a face in for the majority of the round. Who do you guys have? Grasso or the goon? Let me know. First round's over. The snot was all over the place. I hope let's, they let's replay see the, snot. See the snot. Hello, viewers. Oh, Thanks for look, watching. Look, anybody see my tooth? Her nose is crooked. Wow, she's all fucking banged out. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like the goon snot. What's that? What are you laughing at? Uh huh. You're rewinding it to the ghost. All righty. Glenn Allen, what's up, man? She's fucking quitting since Randy Morgan. How about them apples? We got 31 watches in here. Jing Lee, what's going on? Guys, thumb is up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Awesome. We got 30 watches. Did, we are the did, MMA holes. Second round. You Did Danny Man give his pick for this fight? Tell Danny me, Man, tell who me you got? Shit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I understand. Cleveland Moore. She can get over it. Okay. All right. So the Goon's coming out firing in the second round. We got 428. The Goon's oh face God, is, she... as usual, messed up. And that's, a, that's not even from the fight. She's just messed up. The Goon is Clark. If you're new to the show, the Goon is Clark. Jing Lee, look at all those thumbs ups. My man. He even puts thumbs up all over the chat. Thank you, my friend. The goon is lumped. Her <laughs> face is a fucking mess. It's rearranged. That's one thing. Every time this broad fights, it's, it's the like, same like, story. Like nose the is crooked. The goon. Okay, so we're in the second round. We got the likes all over the place. Thank you, guys. We like the likes. We work for likes. It's the first fight. And UFC Fight Night 98. And we literally went crazy over snot. Yeah. Well, it's important. You know what it is? It's wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Say not it. wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> I'm wonderful, wonderful. Mm. Okay. So Grasso doesn't look too bad right now. Even though her face looks like mush, Grasso don't look bad. She's got i uh, I'm not Grasso. The goon. Yeah, Sorry about that. The goon doesn't look that bad right now. Her face is mush. She's got uh, Grasso to the cage. And she's got she's kind of grinding right now. But what I like what Grasso's doing is she's working off of her. Oh, Gr oh here we go. So so the goon, Clark, is dropping a little bit lower. And it's looking like she's trying to go for that trip. And she just Not lost happy. position. Gets spun by Grasso. Grasso. Grasso with them tight pants and that tight ass. <laughs> grabs the goon's leg. <laughs> and now Grasso is switching up the game. You think you think she should falcon punch her? I think she should. Yeah, we learned with falcon. If you guys know what the falcon punch is, let, let us, us know. know. That's right. In stereo. In stereo. <laughs> the falcon punch. I found that out. Let me know if you yeah. guys know. If you've heard of the falcon punch, we want to know. Look at that. Someone asked for a link. Jesus Christ drops a link. What was that there by? You go, JC. She's trying to go for the guillotine right now. The goon, that is. Grasso says no. No, that guillotine's not going to work. Now, I've seen this before with uh, Clark's face, the goon. She's think, been mush. I think she just looks like that naturally. Yeah. Look at that. That nose might be – oh, that nose is broken. That nose yeah, not, might be broken. It's crooked. So you think when they broke the nose, the snot came out immediately? It was like a self-defense mechanism, the snot. I've never seen snot. I know it's always the blood <laughs> pours out. And she's going to wake up tomorrow morning with giant black eyes. Okay. Uh, Vafla Mura, welcome, says the goon wins via snot submission. I hope. <laughs> There you go. I've never seen a snot stay on a face that long in my life. She was getting punched in the face. And the, and the snot, snot was hanging around. The snot was blocking the punches. <laughs> the snot was like, like she was getting hit, but the snot was like freaking, it was, oh, it was amazing. It was a snot shield. <clears throat> oh, I think it's in the mouth now. Okay. Jing Lee says, anyone want to gangbang some hot single milfs in your area? <laughs> hey, let us know. If you want that to happen, Jing Lee is going to make it happen. Randy Morgan says, Heather looks like a girl version of Nickelback's lead singer. <laughs> Randy Morgan. Hits the nail on the head. Never made it like a fighter. That was bad. It's not. At least you don't All have right. to worry about them pulling you for that. Here we go. Grasso wins via rear nigger. <laughs> Real? <laughs> I'm losing it. Grasso wins via rear pussy choke. There we go. There it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys are the best. Best chat in the business. I'm telling you right now. I've been on many YouTube pages, and I have to say the MMA holes have the best chatters. The live chat always, yes. always delivers. 
And so does this fight. We're in the second round. We have 40 seconds left. And we saw the biggest snot we've ever seen in our life. Grasso's doing good with her back against the cage, too. So, uh, she's right, some nasty knees. Yeah, yeah. Even when she's against the fence, mm -hmm. she's active. So now this is an interesting round here. I'm hoping they have the uh, unofficial stats because, oh, that takes down. <laughs> so Clark takes her down and literally smashes Grasso's head into the floor. But as Grasso goes to the floor, her, her head hit that floor really damn mm -hmm. hard. Grasso goes for the arm bar. Grasso doesn't care, gets up slick, tries to win the round, finish the round strong. I got to say, though. It's a close round. That was a close one. I think I think um, the goon got that round. I, I don't gun, know. Gun the head, I'd say the goon, they may give it to the goon depending on what the third round brings. The goon might. So I, I think if Grasso dominates, they're just going to give her all three rounds. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Big, long thing. Grasso beating ass. Hi, Baldy. That's you. I would imagine. Baldy so. waves back. Okay. Jingli. Uh, Mr. True Boy, you said the N word. <laughs> you know what I did? <laughs> I did. Did you catch that? Yeah, I said, I said it. I don't even know. I don't know what it was pertaining to, but I did say the I, I said ninja. <laughs> I didn't pick up on it. All right. Jane say good one by the snot. Mexican says they can't show the fight, stupid. These ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> I say a lot of things. I'll say the cunt. I'll say the fuck. I'll say the shit. I will not say the N-word. I say ninjas. Oh, niggas. Oh, wow, John. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't must, say that. That must be the ghost again. No, that's <laughs> the ghost. No, we say ninjas. Ninjas here, guys. That's how we do it. Okay, guys. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry. We can't show the fight, guys. So round three is going. I didn't get to see the unofficial stats. I want to see if UFC got that straightened out. They didn't. Oh, that sucks. They didn't get their live stats. Look at this. That's it. They UFC didn't get the live stats ready. <laughs> UFC might be down because the MMA holes have so many people watching their broadcast that they we've broken the internet. All or, right, guys. Or at least the UFC's with Hey, 36 viewers, what's going on? We are the MMA holes. If you're new to the show, we're in the third round. Fight night 98. We have Clark, who looks like the goons from Popeye, right? Right, John? John? Uh, no, I, I mean, she is a goon. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. She is the goon, for, fighting Grasso. Me, personally, I think the, the fight is split. The second round's very close. Grasso convincingly won the first round. And um, this is the third round. To me, this is the sway round. But like I said, that second round could have went either way. John, who would you say you got that second round? What do you think? No, I, I agree with you. I think the, uh, the hook nose got it, but... If if Brasso dominates, they're probably going to wind up giving her all three rounds. I don't think they're going to give this girl that second round if Brasso beats the snot out of it this round. Jingli says, great banter, guys. Keep it up. Okay, Ray, the axe mur uh, murderer. The scotch is slowly kicking in. Respect. Okay, Tom Jones. I don't know what the fuck that means. Okay, Ray, the axe murderer, Malone. Turn the camera. <laughs> Dude, I wish, man. I wish we could. Uh, sucky hole. Okay, thank you, Tom Jones. Jo uh, Tom Jones, thank you very much. Uh, J Pro J stream's gonna crack 100 views. That's what we're going for, guys. That's what we're going for. We're on 40 right now. Okay, I'll suck your hole, Tom Jones. There you go, Jingly. <laughs> there you go. Attack him. Uh, attack him. Attack him, Tom Jones. <laughs> Tom Jones, you could give it. I don't care. I don't give a shit. You're, you're the best. We're all MMA holes here, guys. You can talk shit. You can do whatever you want. We're all here to watch the fight, and we're discussing the fight, and we are the MMA holes. We are literally a bunch of a-holes. Talk about Conor McGregor. Talk about Conor McGregor. If you want Conor McGregor, we will Conor McGregor, but Conor McGregor? Who the fuck is that guy? Well, that's you, dude. That's you. Did you know that? Yes, sir. See how he, he knows. He knows. There he is. Tom there he is, Conor McGregor. You ask, he comes. We don't talk about him. He's here. Okay. This round, this round is going to make it very hard in the judges. Okay, I'm going to get back to this fight here. 227, 226, third round. Grasso looks like she's pushing the pace again, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, not Grasso, Clark. I keep on calling Clark Grasso. I want to say goon. But here's the thing. I like damage. I see damage on a face. I, I score damage. If I was a judge, I would be scoring towards damage. And then you look at Clark's face. The second round was one of those rounds could have went either way. You look at Clark's face, it looks like it's got look, look at significant grinder. strikes. That's ridiculous. Grasso, 42 significant strikes. To nine. To nine.
That is definitely. But you know, it's funny. That second round is a weird round. Mm -hmm. If Clark finishes this round strong, she can steal this fight. Fuck, she she could win this fight. But here's the thing. Grasso looks fine. She has a knot on her left side. That just came up now, too. She must have just caught her. Yeah. Looks like they stuck a tennis ball under a, uh, her high cheekbone. Or a golf ball. What's a Conor McGregor? Laugh out loud. <laughs> Mr. True Boy says... Yes, sir! That's from Mr. True Boy. <laughs> That's one of my favorite sound bites. I don't know if you heard this one. Wait, wait, wait. Guess who that person is. All right. 15 likes. Holy smoke. I have a complete erection right now. It's, it's totally. No, I'm completely aroused. All right. A minute is left in this fight, guys. He, uh, the goon. He's full mask, Christine. The goon is lumped up to. She looks like a. Uh, she looks like American Psycho right now. Her face is, is completely mutilated. But this is every fight with her. Oh, Grasso's trying to finish strong here. Nice leg kick. 45 seconds left in the third round. Now Grasso's pushing the pace. In the beginning of the round, Clark was pushing the pace. Grasso looks like she wants to move forward. She's backing up now. Clark is moving forward. Oh, here we go. Clark is putting it up. Grasso spins her and puts her against the fence. Guys, who do you think has this, this pretty, fight? This is a pretty good fight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who the fuck is that guy? I forget about that. Okay, so Grasso has Clark against the fence. Goes for a leg takedown. Slams her down. The goon is down. That now. That's a big, that's a big takedown. Does that takedown steal the round? Clark gets up real much. quick on this one. I got to say, man. That was a big takedown. Okay. All right. Everybody settle down. The fight's over. And what did I say? It's going to go to the decision. Who did I pick? I picked Grasso. And since I picked Grasso, since John picked Grasso, since my wife picked Grasso, since John's wife picked Grasso, Grasso won. But here's the thing. First round, definitely Grasso. Second round, not sure. Even if you get, I still think that Grasso's first round takes this fight. Okay. The other rounds were too tight. It wasn't a 10-9, though. No. So I'm confused. I'm going to give it to Grasso. I'll I'm going to Grasso. give it to Grasso. I'm going to say Grasso, Goon, Grasso, and that's how it's going to be. And damage they're going to give. That's right. Get Who do you guys have? Please put in the chat. If you don't put it in the chat, I'll never know. I don't fucking know. All right, here we go. Here we go. Karen Bryant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It takes like at least 30 likes for me to get hard. 30, that's it. It only takes me 15. I don't like the streaming baldy. Does the truffle shuffle. <laughs> No. <laughs> he doesn't yeah, he doesn't like to dance. Suck a hee hole. There we go. KO Master MMA God. Well, that's a cool name. I hope RDA RDA will stay alive after this fight. RDA is gonna not gonna say what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you right before that fight starts. But I have a pick, I have a clear cut pick. If you watched last night's show, you know who I picked. And don't spoil it in the chat if you saw. Swiss cheese, I hope you get hard soon. Okay? Dude, I'm actually uh trying to get where to watch the fight here live stream on YouTube help me bro okay don't worry about it because Jesus Christ has a link that he put up Jesus Christ if you see that post put up the link and help a brother out Yamil Akra either is forced to fight lightweight or cut this shiz is ridiculous Fine. I can't even read this stuff look it's like all broken five dollars says he calls out McGregor after the fight to brain dead John read this one <laughs> Come on, man. It's gonna take a couple of reads. <laughs> yes, I'm oh, gonna say yes. Oh, no, I'm getting it. I mean, he's he's basically says that. Uh, I guess he hopes Oliveira calls out McGregor after he fights Alvarez, who he's calling brain dead. Okay, so he's calling Alvarez brain dead. I yeah. agree. I concur. Uh, Alvarez is brain dead. Uh, dead Connor. Do you think Alvarez is brain dead? Yes, sir. All right, so Connor agrees too. Uh, Michael Emanuel, not home yet. Are the fights good? I got to say, this fight's pretty damn good. It well, went three rounds. Most fights have been pretty good on this. Even the prelims had some good fights. So far, so good. Swiss cheese. Grasso. Christopher. Hey, Christopher, that's my name too. Bum version of Aldo versus bum version of Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. My man. My man. Wait, 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 wait. Ellen, Ellen, stop it. Stop it, Ellen. All right, who do you guys think is going to win between McGregor and Alvarez? 
hold on. Let's just ask. Let's ask the men. Connor. Connor McGregor, do you think you're going to beat Alvarez? Yes, sir. Unanimous decision. A unanimous decision, yeah. We're one for one. We picked the Grasso. We didn't pick the Goon. The Goon lost. Grasso wins. Who did you guys pick? 54 watching? Fuck yeah. Okay, guys. So that's that. Here we go. So that fight ended. We all picked Grasso. Everyone that's sitting on this couch is a woman sleeping over here. There's a woman on her phone over there. And Jesus Christ throws the link in there. Good job. So, guys, we're one for one. Let me tell you something. This girl's undefeated. She's going to be a tough chick. That was a good fight. Yes. And she doesn't speak English. So, listen, if you watch the MMA holes and you're betting people, trust me on this one. If you Go follow on. my picks. Follow his picks. <laughs> my picks are never good. Not on Bellator, but on UFC. I give you all the winners. Even when they lose, I give you the winners. There it is. So there we go. We're one for one. We're all one for one on the couch. We're going to tell you our picks for the next fight. We want to know your picks too. But until then, we have some chat going on here. Here we go. Wow, this chat's going. Okay, here we go. So uh, Jesus Christ throws the chat in there. Jung Lee, fuck off, bro. Mexican is – now Mexican is the enforcer. Don't mess with him. But it's not on YouTube. Make me fuck off, pussy. Jung Lee, so not nice. Hey, Jing Lee. Who the fuck is that guy? Okay, here we go. Stream. Here we go. Uh, Tom Jones. I will fuck you all up. There you go. Tom Jones is going to fuck us all up. I can't wait. Okay, there's the link. Grasso versus Cyborg. Come on, guys. You don't want to see that. Who wins? Wow, that's, there's like a 70-pound weight change. <laughs> you got to go into the light heavyweight male, so then start getting some comp competition for uh, Cyborg. <laughs> Tom Jones, you ain't got shit on me. Thanks, dude. From Yamil Akra. There we go. Yamil finally has his link. I hope that works out for you. Y Yamil, let me tell you a story about this. Last night, I was doing a stream. My link cut out. The MMA hole saved me. I cried for two seconds, and I watched the rest of the fight. Okay, who picks Ronda over Amanda? I think Ronda's going to win convincingly. John, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aman Amanda lost to, to uh, what's, her, what's her name? Kat Zangano. She's beatable. Hey. <clears throat> Carlos Condon. Condon. There you go. You doing, so you got buddy? it. Okay. Jing Lee's still, still talking some smack. I'm from Russia. There we go. Uh, Vime Vime Tan. That's hey, Listen, thank you. Guys, nice. subscribe to the channel, guys. Yeah. Hang out with us. We're the MMA holes. And I see a lot of people watching. And I know this, John. I know this. That you're new to our channel. So you know what that means. Every Wednesday night, what we do is it's, it's called the MMA holes weekly chat. It's a Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time, and we do a live show. We do a stream. We have a Google Hangouts, which we're on right now. We have a live chat, and we have MMA holes come in. We talk. We chat. We tell our picks. We predict the future. We see these things, and we have a guest star appearance from the one and only yes, sir. Conor McGregor. Okay. So that's and, that. And the ghost. Okay. Who... Okay, hold on. I'm going to go through this chat. Da, 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 da. Wow, you guys are fucking... All right, I'm just going to catch up here because you guys are just... You guys are just fucking exactly lightning. Wrong, huh? uh, here we go. We got... From uh, Asori. Is this like Fight Companion? I'm new here. Yes, it is Fight Companion. I think Joe Rogan's going, but fuck Joe Rogan. Yeah. I would never say that to his face. Yes, I would. Fuck Joe Rogan. You heard that, Joe Rogan? Did you hear that? You know who you are messing... All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, pussy from Stephen Roman. Who do you think this, uh, uh, who do you guys think is the greatest of all time in MMA? All time. I have a pick right off the bat. So do I. Okay, we're going to go with John. Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva. He took my pick. <laughs> he took my pick. There it is. Over John Jones? Over John Jones. He used to say John Jones. John Jones. <laughs> yeah, John Jones is my favorite fighter. But if I'm going all time, Anderson Silva. So, yeah, that, I've been saying that for a long time as well. I think Anderson Silva is, to me, to me, the greatest of all time. When Anderson Silva went on that run, now you could make an argument, Mighty Mouse. You could make that argument, Mighty Mouse, how consistent he is and how he's just going to keep going and does his thing. It's just Anderson Silva, I've never seen a fighter like that guy. I argue against Mighty Mouse for one reason. Anderson Silva will take a fight at any fucking weight class and fight the guy. Who's the guy he fought in the, when he went for light heavyweight? Uh, what's his name? Um, shit balls? No, not shit balls. But he, either way, he kicked the shit out of him. Mighty Mouse for Sonin? <laughs> uh, he did that a couple of times. Oh, Sonin almost beat him. But 
Mighty Mouse refuses to leave the flyweights. He, he's probably, arguably, a bantamweight. So, I, I, I'm, I'm not knocking Mighty Mouse, but Anderson can fight anybody anytime. There you go. You heard it from John. John, the MMA hole. Who wins if yay to full fighting? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm from China. Welcome, my friends. We're from New York. We're from the U.S. Yes, that's all. Welcome. To, and you, by saying you're from China, are automatically an official MMA hole. Welcome. Who's fighting next? We're going to talk about it in two seconds. It's different. Self-doubting Rousey. This is from Jack Bell. Welcome, Jack Bell. It's a different self-doubting Rousey going into the Nunez fight, exclamation point. So you think Rousey's a little, she's doubting herself, which makes it interesting. Holmes broke her mentally and physically. Nunez isn't a walk in the park, like you seem to suggest, mate. And I like being called mate. Thank you. I don't think she's a walk in the park either. I just think Rousey is going to come out with a vengeance and... I think Nunez is going to gonna lose. So there you go. I see Jay Protege says, oh, hold on. Ray the Axe Murder says, Vandalay beat Anderson. Mm. Did he? Well, here's the thing with Vandalay. You can't, well, you can't credit anything with Vandalay because every time I hear Vandalay, I think steroids. You could say the same thing about uh, Silva. Ugh. But um, Vandalay, as soon as I hear Vandalay, I think steroids. So that's pretty much how I think about that. No homo pillow. Request for no homo pillow. Uh, Mexican, uh, okay, here we go. Mexican chick looked good on her UFC de debut. Yeah, she did actually look really good. That mm -hmm. girl is tough. She hits hard. The Omachita is the real goat. I like the dragon, man. I like the dragon. I like his style. I like everything. But once again, I like he Machida, had the belt. But would, he, would, he, would you consider him the greatest of all time? No, but he's fucking good. Love the guy. So the most spew, uh, spews, most views we've had on a stream is what? I think it was like 70-something. I think it was like around in the 70s. We're on 69 right now. So me and John are going to 69 by the diapers. Yes. Right over there, we're going to 69. Standing up. 69 standing up. How about that? How do we sound? How do we look? How do our muscles look? Check, check it out. We have tattoos. We have bricks. We have diapers. We have sleeping women. And uh, we have an MMA show. And we lost the straight pillow. And we lost it. Now there's, there's a space between us. Want to get a want to get a box of diapers for today? <laughs> oh, Pac-Man is fighting today. Pac you might have to fight. check that out. Yeah, I have no interest. But fuck boxing. Okay, Michael Bisping, the best of all time, <laughs> smoking that ganja. I do like Michael Bisping. Sixty-six right now is record. Sixty-six now right now is record. Okay. Uh, I thought we had more than that on the uh, Anderson Neo Mark fight. Oh, no? he's always talking about right now. Oh. Right now we're at 67, so this is pretty kind of cool. Oh, the fight's about to start. Okay, they're doing yeah. a little pre thing right now. So, okay, we're going to have to skip a little bit forward. Before we do that, guys, we talked no. about the goon, goon before, and we're going to talk about some more UFC right now. Here we are, Saturday night, a beautiful Saturday night. It was a nice day over here in New York, and uh, we are going to be telling you about UFC Fight Night 98. So here we go. We make dreams come true. Look at this magical production we have over here. If you just just look at it, you just look at it. Boom, presenting to everybody. This is the fight card we're watching. You're watching, I'm watching, who's watching, we're watching. We click on it, we look at it, we just look at it. There it is. We saw the goon versus Grasso. We picked Grasso, we picked the groom. The groom. <laughs> the, groom. the groom, the bride and the groom. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. The Baruch. second fight of the main card. Russia versus Iran. We got Darius versus Magomedov. What does that say? Goretz? Is that his name? Goretz. Okay, so I'm going to tell you our picks. I'm going to go down the list. My name is Chris, the guy that keeps yapping. My boyfriend over here is John. We have the two lovely ladies. We have Christine and Maria. And all four of us made picks. We want to know your picks. You throw them in the comments. The second fight, Chris, which is myself, is Magomedov. I never pick against a Russian. 19 1 0. That worked, that worked out for you last night. Well, Bellator, yeah. I, <laughs> I kind of got fucked in that one. John picks Darush. Darush. There he goes. Number nine versus number 15, 13 2 0. Can't argue that pitch, uh, that pick. He's going to lose. Max <laughs> <laughs> Christine, Probably. Christine, who happens to be my wife. Yes, my wife has the same name as me, Chris and Chris. Magomedov. And John's wife picks Darush. How about that? So look at that. We're split. We have two families split right now. We're pretty much like family anyway, but it doesn't matter. We're split. Me and my wife have the Russian. We're going to make it easy. And John and his wife. We got wife the Iranian guy. That's great. Is in Iran. 
There it is, guys. Who do you guys have? 79 watches. What the fuck? Hey. Ooh, hey, Connor, are you excited about this? 79 watches? Yes, sir. All right, Connor's excited. That's all right. What about Ellen? Is Ellen excited? I don't know. I mean, you know, Ellen, she's always mumbling on her words. No, wait, wait, wait. There's Ellen. There she is. Okay, fuck boxing. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I agree, Tom. Your mom. Eddie going bonkers because, well, you got to. All right, Mexican, just for the record, I am the only one who motherfucking predicts Ferguson to destroy Dos Anjos. Mexican. Zip. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. But I pick Ferguson. But just don't tell the 81 people watching right now. I picked Ferguson. Okay. Shh. So there we go, guys. Your, That's it. Your secret's safe with him. Don't worry. <laughs> no one heard that. No one heard that. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Say my name again. Eddie. Going bonkers. Because. There you go. We said your name, buddy. And Eddie, you are. What is Eddie? An MMA hole. He is an MMA hole. Connor, is Eddie an MMA hole? Yes, sir. Eddie's an MMA hole. There you go. Guys, take your finger, scroll on YouTube page, and hit the subscribe button. If you're new to the MMA holes, we do a weekly show every Wednesday night. See what's going on in this chat? We just make this happen here on a Wednesday night, too. And we do it again there. We do it every fight. John, what do you yeah. think? That's right. Nine o'clock. Be there. I see a thumbs do down. Do I it. see a thumbs down. What do you give that thumbs down? Johnny gives a thumbs down a what? Wait, hold on. I don't know if they saw you on that one. Oh, shit. I am uh, <laughs> I'm showing the chat. I'm not even showing us. I'm showing the chat. Boom! There we are. Everybody relax. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Thumbs down. That's All right. There you go, John. Give him the thumbs down. There we go. John gives you the thumbs up right there. Oh, that's not his thumb. Okay. This is awesome. You are fucking awesome. Man, shut the fuck up. James Curry, MVP. What does MVP must stand for? Most vagina pussy, right? That's what you are? Most vagina pussy? All right. We're going to call you that. <laughs> All right, most vagina pussies in the house. Jay Protege throws a link. Guys, MMA will throw links in for you guys. They help you out. I'm still not out of the fight. Where can I find here on YouTube? You can't find it on YouTube, my brother. Fuck you too, John. <laughs> Mexican. Ray, no shit, man. Okay. Laugh out loud by James Turney. Fuck Johnny, little pussy. <laughs> John, see, John threw the pussy up. There you go. For real? Okay. Are we forgetting Dos Anjos? I picked those Anjos. And ran through the con contenders. Uh, listen, buddy. Everyone picked those Anjos, I think. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you. But this fight's about to start, so here we go. What's in the cup? Well, I miss Dad. Oh, I miss Dad's here. We like I miss Dad. Well, we need a little refill. John, we're going to have to open that bottle. <laughs> you're going to find out in two seconds. There's something in this cup. Huh? I'm not driving home. Of course you're driving home. Because I can't drink all this coffee by myself. The wife's not happy about me drinking. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm here. The fight's about to start. We have another fight going on. I am an MMA hall. Everyone in here is an MMA hall. Fuck the fight companion. Hang out with the fight buddies. We're so much better. We talk shit. We hang out, and that's how that works. Who do you think will win the three title fights at 205? Those predictions will come up. Fight week. Guys, we're going to the weigh-ins. We're doing a lot of fun stuff. We live in New York, so this is a big deal for us. Stay tuned Wednesday, 9 p.m. We are going to give our predictions, all that fun stuff. But this fight's about to start, and Jesus Christ is the man. He keeps on throwing the link in. Fuck finding uh, on YouTube, FS1. There you go, FS1. There you go. Talk MMA, Amy, mates. All right, Joseph Flores, we do talk a lot of MMA, but the fight's about to start, and we're going to talk you guys through this. Guys. I pick Magomedov. My wife picked Mag Magomedov. We have a we have whatever's going in this cup. There you go, Johnny. Yeah, it's just a little swig. What's that? No, I'm good. All right, yeah, put it in. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We got Magomedov versus Darius. We're split on this one. I got Magomedov. We got a Darius over here. Number nine versus number fifteen. Okay, here we go. We're in the first round. Four thirty in the first round. We have a fight. We have a fight, my friends. We're on a few UFC Fight 998. He definitely poured way too much on here. Who do you guys have? I need to know. I want to know. Who do you guys have? There's no such thing as way too much. Okay. Joseph Flores got Darius. 
<laughs> I'm his dad says car girls look like they're strung out on co cocaine. Your mom and your dad are twins. There you go. That's from X Ghost 22. I got Darius too. There we go. We got some Dariuses in the house. Guys, I'm telling you right now, you're wrong. It's not going to happen. Darius is going to lose. I know he looks really good right now, and he's got my boy against the cage. <laughs> yeah, it's only the first But one. I never lose. When I when I pick, I never, ever lose. Here we go. Watch. Watch my Ruski. Darius, these uh, Iranians are very tough, but the Russians. Dari All right. So Darius tries to go for a trip. My Russian guy, no problem. Morgan Madoff is like, nah, I'm not down with that. Okay, so right now Darius has Morgan Madoff to defense. And there is one underhook going on. And Margaret Madoff, it's not much going on right now. They're just against the fence right now with my boy, the Russian, against his back. Darius, oh! And Darius tries for the takedown. And, and Margaret and Madoff. His, and gave up his back. Where's Margaret Madoff? He made the bitch pay. He's like, bitch pay. Okay, so Margaret Madoff is on Darius's back right now. Well, not on his back. He's holding his back while they're standing up. They're, st they're stood yeah. up against the fence. Margaret Madoff needs to put those under underhooks in. Put the underhooks. Slip them in, buddy. Yeah, he, so now the he, fight is swayed with a nut kick. He, Here we go. <clears throat> Fuck. Who's on his show? Radiax Murderer. Uh, Russian. Are you guys talking? Joe Rogan is a cuckold. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> My man. All right. Hey, guys, listen. Listen. Joe Rogan? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about Joe Rogan. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> That's what Connor says about Joe Rogan. Who the fuck is that guy? Connor is terrible. Eddie, get, get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> All right. Uh, listen. Is that Brazil? Eddie going bonkers because... Who the fuck is that guy? All right. Brazil, Brazil representing over here. Yep, Connor runs the whole game, my man. There we go. Connor is the king. Okay, the Connor fanboys are in the house. We got a Connor chat, but guys, UFC 205 is next week. You can keep talking about Connor. It's all good. We have 87 watching right now, 22 likes, three dislikes. You guys are killing it. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it very much. Okay, so the Ruski versus the Iranian is going right now. Two minutes in the first round. Hey, boy, there's Rick Connor part. Connor's trash. <laughs> Budget you big fuck. Uh, Eddie sucks. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Quatrum. Quatrum is a good name. Connor is trash. Only has great boxing. I, uh, uh, Tristan. I'm sorry. I'm. I. I disagree. Ooh. Big Connor camp. runs every. All right, you guys keep going. Mexican. Where the fuck is Bigfoot Silva? I need some advice on getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Mexican. You remember Bigfoot Silva was here last night. I hope he comes back in. That was hilarious. By the way, my man got popped. That was a nice left by Darius. So Darius looks pretty good. It's minute 25. He looks very calm in there. He's kind of doing his thing. All right. Minute 14, nice minute kid. 13, minute 12. My, my Ruski needs to, uh, he needs to step it up. Darius with a nasty leg kick. Hits him with a spinning back fist, but it might backfire on him because here comes the Russian. The Russian has Darius against the cage. But as uh, Darius is against the cage, those knees to the body – Darius, he's Russian. Knees don't hurt. Russian don't hurt. The no, knees don't hurt Russians. Feel that. They, right? If you're a Russian, knees don't hurt you, right? Wow, that was pretty, pretty sure. That's pretty good. He got his knee up to his head. Will the real Bigfoot please stand up? Mm-hmm. Fucking uniforms look like Power Rangers. Okay, so my Russian's got Darius against the cage. So 22 seconds left. I'm sorry. I still think Darius has this round. Oh, well, maybe not. That's two takedowns for the Russian. Uh -huh. That's two takedowns for the Russian. With 13, 12, 11 seconds left, the Russian's on top. Half. He's in half guard right now. Fuck, who got that round? It's tight. That's a close one, guys. It's going to be one of those things where you guys see the next round Who has the first round? Who has the first round, guys? 420. All right, who has the first round? Let us know. We want to know. And we're going to look over here. We're going to take you guys on a little vacation, a little trip, a little a little pleasurable place as I sip on my drink. And we're going to take you to the UFC website. Bink! We're presenting to everybody. There it is, guys. This is the fight we're watching. I picked Magomedov. 
John picks Darius. We got a freaking close fight. Let's see if the lights, live stats are going. Bang, there's the go. live stats. Okay, here we go. My boy's got 22 tw uh, total strikes. It looks like you got the whole round. Versus 17, 20 to 15. There's two takedowns. I don't know what that one takedown is, but these are unofficial. Might, yeah, it's unofficial, yeah. These are unofficial stats. All right, that's UFC's. Still, that's still 19 seconds. That's why. Oh, you? here we go. Yeah, there we go. That's why we keep John around. We're going to refresh the page. And there they are. Here we go. Oh, 19 seconds. I would like to see the rest, but the fight's about to start again, and you get to look at our beautiful faces. We're going to stop this. Stop that. There we are. Hi. Hi. Welcome. John waves. I wave. Are we crystal clear? I'm clear. I got to sit up straight. This apple juice is, is making me slouch. It's a little potent. Guys, I'm having a good time. We're a couple minutes in. 10.58. The girls went upstairs? They're done. Sleeping. They're done. Sleeping. Out of it. Lock it up. The girls are upstairs. Okay, 4.48 in the third round. A nice live stats, stats, bro. I made it myself. Thank you, Andrew Ev Edwards. Uh, Andrew Evans, I'm sorry. Andrew Evans. There you go. I'm his dad. Who's your pick for the Diego Sanchez fight? We're going to tell you in two seconds. Fucking faggots. Thank you. Uh, Nathan, uh, this is what I got to say to you. Who the fuck is that guy? Okay. Quadir Villarakana runs Russia and Iran. Does he really? Okay. Diego. Ah, funny shit. Andrew Evans. Bigfoot's head looks like a uh, smiley face. Yes, you are, guys. James Tierney. Okay. Who do you guys think will win the Wonder Boy versus Woodley? The first time I saw Wonder Boy in 2012, I knew he was going to be the champ. He has some sick skills. He will be the champ. Mark my word. <coughs> Mark my words. That's Yamil Akra. <clears throat> we met Wonder Boy. If you want to see a little bit more Wonder Boy, check out a previous video. We had him do a happy birthday thing for a subscriber. It was really cool, guys. It was so cool. I, I shit in my pants. Okay, 348, 340. Where were we, John? Where were we doing? No, not much going on in this fight. I got to pay attention, guys. So right now, I think the Russian slimly got the first round, but he stole the first round. That's what I'm thinking. It could have went either way. But here we go. Darius is moving forward again, and the Russian's just looking to counter. Magomedov is looking to counter. We got 328, 327, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 in the second round. What do you guys have? Keeping ignoring the idiots. <laughs> I am. Greetings from Montenegro. Okay, Luka Raskovich. I definitely screwed that up, but thank you for mm -hmm. hanging out with us tonight. Hey, come on in. This fight's not going right now. These two just decided to stop throwing punches. This is a true three rounder right here, for sure. So grab your drink, grab your girl, <laughs> have some quick sex with your woman, and then come back. Okay, here we go. But I'm having a little fun. We have the chat. Woodley will be done in one, says Dominic Hughes. Connor would destroy these bums in one round. <laughs> Connor would destroy everyone. Connor versus the world. Bigfoot's head looks like cheese. <laughs> and he going bonkers because. Too bad Connor couldn't destroy Joe Duffy. Oh, that was like 7 million years ago. Put Joe Duffy in the ring with him now. We'll see how he does. Mm-mm, mm-mm. That's from Dominic Hughes. Eddie going bonkers because Bigfoot's head looks like a good time. <laughs> All right, someone wants a shout out. John, give this shout out right over here. Right over here, the purple guy. Oh, gal. Oh, one Samato. Shout there out you to you, bud. You got the shout out. You are an MMA. And, and I agree. Joe Buffy, Duffy is a bum. He's a boom. He's a boom. Joe Duffy. Who the fuck is that guy? All right. Right? He's only in the UFC because he, he beat Connor 500 years ago. All right. So right now, uh, Darius got the underhooks in. It looks like Darius is working tough, working hard, trying to get that takedown. He's just been grinding this round. Minute 30 left in the second round, guys. We have the bricks up. We have the diapers out. We have our cocks out. You just can't see them. Yes. We are the MMA Holes. Thanks for joining us. We do a live show every Wednesday, 9 p.m. I think Herb Dean's asleep right now. Yeah, Herb Dean. <laughs> you guys ever watch the YouTube video with Herb Dean uh, doing a little mixed martial arts? It's it's very, it's highly amusing. I demand you go watch that. Not now because you're watching the MMA Holes. D's Nuts from Eric Mustin. McGregor or Alvarez. Guys, guys. McGregor, you going to win? Yes, sir. Okay, so that is your answer. 
Uh, Rashid hasn't beaten anyone, but he hasn't. Wait, Rashid's got a good record, but hasn't beaten anyone. Yep. D. Robbie. Oh, Rashid. you're all on steroids. Who the fuck is that fat ass in that video? No offense. Not that. Oh. Huh? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Laugh out loud. John Jones going to be back soon and continue to dominate the light heavyweight division. That's his boy right there, John Jones. And John Jones could be pound for pound the greatest. He what do you be. think? He could be, but he's got to get his act together. He could. So I've, I'm not going to lie. I keep on getting distracted by these comments, but I'm going to say right now, just by the, the, the peaks that I've been getting at this fight, all I see is my boy, the Russian guy, against the fence. Late trip by the Russian tribe, but nothing. You know, when you're laying against a guy on the fence like that, I mean, it's it's tough to be excited. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, 